connected. Welcome to Woodsman for Adventures. Going riding with Blake again. That's, yeah. him, that's him up there with the, the, I don't know what kind of shorts them are, khaki shorts. <laughs> cargo. Cargo shorts. Yeah. What does that mean? You can haul cargo in them or what? <laughs> no, uh, I don't know. The athletic shorts, my phone always falls out of my pocket. Uh, so these have pockets on them. So there you go. Because this offers more protection than a athletic shorts. Is that why they're called cargo? Yeah. And most people, usually you ride the Zookies when you wear shorts. But I'm uh, doing the difference. Why would, you ride, why would you ride Suzuki's when you wear shorts? I, I was four bike riders, the, the Jigster riders, they're all the ones that wear shorts and muscle shirts and stuff. Really? Car coming. <laughs> That's why they're called cargo shorts, I guess. The car goes by you. Yeah. <laughs> and whistles at you when you get your khaki shorts. I don't like riding in shorts. I usually don't, but it's hot. I can I tell you now, when you get married, the two motorcycles won't work. The what? Having two motorcycles and playing all the time, that'll end. Whatever. <laughs> You'll see. I get a girl that rides, and we'll have three of them then. <laughs> yeah, don't put your foot down. Oh, Break your leg, you're a knucklehead. I know. I, I rub my foot on the pavement for fun. You rub your foot on the pavement for fun? Yeah. You're going to catch a rock. Well, that just sounds like a lot of fun. I can imagine <laughs> the enjoyment that you might get out of doing that. Yeah, you, you wear your shoes out quick, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I have to keep buying them shoes. It's crazy. They just don't last. I like rubbing my hand down whenever you go around a corner. Yeah. That's fun too. Fun on you on that bike? No. I, I, you probably could if you had a, like street tires on it. Yeah, but the, your hands, the skin wears down kind of like the soles on your shoes. That's the bad part. Yeah. <laughs> there's a car up there. Have you ever been up there? Why is there a car up there? Oh, there's dirt, there's dust. I, was, I said there's crap there. Oh, no, I ain't been up through there. I think that's private property. This? <laughs> He's like, I don't see no sign. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it goes with that land that's for sale down here. Uh, <laughs> Blake's like, I've been up through there for four miles. No, well, they, it goes up there and turns around, but there's no signs that say it's private property. I thought Creek Bed was part of government property. I don't know how really that's rated, but I don't, I can say for sure, but. I think so many feet of it off of the road is, but when it's actually on somebody's property, it's their land. But that's a dry creek bed anyway. I don't know if that counts as a creek. Ain't no water in it. Yeah, when it rains, that is, though. Yeah, but it ain't raining. Yeah. Blake, I have to tell you everything. I don't know. <laughs> what? There's been a dirt bike through here. Oh yeah, that may be the dust. Uh, yeah. Probably you. No. I haven't been down in a while. You sure it ain't them four-wheelers? No, they were up, they went up the hill. Oh, they came from that way? Yeah. Yeah, but they could have been down here. Well, this is a skinny tire. Yeah. A tire track. It looks like a, like a bicycle. He knows what a dirt bike tire track looks like. Yeah. Looks just like a bulldozer track. <laughs> Yeehaw. Hang on, hot rod. Hey. Did you see a stop sign? Huh? Stop sign. What about it? Somebody oh, put a sticker on it. How'd that sticker get on it? I don't know. Somebody's putting stickers on it. That's All right. crazy. Left or right? Wherever you want to go. I guess we can go through five rings. You're the boss. I'm the mouse. Well, I don't know if I'd want to work for you. Look at him. He's like those super motards guys. Whatever. Well, usually... Look at that hill climb there. Yeah. I have no ideas. 
<laughs> That's doable. Okay, I gotta get this wheelie. Here we go. Oh, uh, am I gonna do one? Yeah, are you? Okay, whatever. That wasn't very good, that was choppy. That was pretty good, <laughs> I thought. No. If I'm by myself, I can probably ride it all the way up the hill. Hey, the turn signal's on, noob. <laughs> <laughs> turn signal's on, noob. Yeah. <laughs> Is he saying noob or noob? Noob. Noob, yeah. Like newbie? Oh, uh, like noob? Yeah, like you're a new rider, new, oh. new, new to riding. Oh, well, I couldn't understand what he was saying all this time. <laughs> You're not saying boob. Yeah. I didn't say that. Oh. <laughs> I thought he said boob. I just didn't understand what he said. I don't understand. You see that quail? No. Uh -huh. You remember uh, this? Yeah. Sunburn. Or sun sunburn. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sun sunburn. <laughs> <laughs> it might be sunburn on your legs with them shorts on. I know. Okay, <laughs> guys, we're going down Sunburn Road. It's like a songbird. <laughs> he can't read. Well, this is, what, what is this, Sun Wait, Ridge, Sun Sugar, Ridge. Sugar Ridge. <laughs> I'm just talking like Blake. Oh. Hey, I don't know if there's a sign on that that says keep out. Private property. Well, yeah, private property, but it's okay to ride on private property as long as it don't say keep out. That's over there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, not this road. Ain't it okay to ride on private property if it don't say keep out? If it's not posted. Yeah, so, so hey, let's go. I'm going to teach you a few things. Whatever. My teachers always told me that, that the dumbest question was the one never asked. The dumbest question was the one never asked. Yep. Do you get told that a lot or what? That's just what our teachers used to tell us. I've never been on this road, but it's pretty cool. But yeah, that's because you was... Uh, 18 years, 17 years old or whatever in the fourth grade. <laughs> we finally just kicked you out. I did have a 21 year old in my freshman class. Yeah, you. <laughs> How old are you, Blake? I'll be 19 in two days. He'll be 19 in two days and he is available. Yeah. No guys allowed. Yeah. Only girls, is that right? Duh. Okay, just making sure. That's a road? Oh, that's a lane. No. Yeah, that's a lane. A <laughs> lane, not a road. Where we're going, we don't need roads. 19 years old, holy cow, and not even married. Not even got a girlfriend, do you? No. Okay, but he's looking. I don't have a girlfriend, I have several. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now what, you, what qualities do you want in a girlfriend? What I, do you I, want? I, don't, I don't know if they you call them girlfriends, so... What is it? <laughs> <laughs> They're girls that are friends. Yeah. Yeah, you call them girlfriends, but they don't call you boyfriend. <laughs> it's like on Dem and Demmer, whenever he asked that gal, that beautiful woman, he said, so what's the chance and a guy like me getting with a girl like you and she said one in a million and he said he's a different man he said so you're saying there's a chance <laughs> <laughs> so anyway blake for youtube here what do you want in a girlfriend what are you looking for money <laughs> <laughs> money and uh what else i mean does she have to she have to ride bikes Preferably. <laughs> I don't know. But with enough money, she don't have to. Yeah. Okay. Somebody else could try to do it. If you got <laughs> enough money, she just go pay somebody a teacher. <laughs> Does she need to know how to cook? No. If you got enough money, you can hire somebody to cook. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> hire a maid so she don't need to know how to clean. Yeah. Now what about uh, looks? Blonde or brunette or? I don't know. Depends. <laughs> what? Depends. Oh, that's that way. You want, you want a girl that wears the pins? <laughs> that was pins? Depends? You want a girl that wears the pins? Yeah. Oh my goodness, Blake. I like my women like I like my coffee. 
Who's that's a pretty house? How's that? Black. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Have it. Okay, she's got to be black and rich and wear the pins. And what about weight? Uh, preferably uh, over 250. <laughs> yeah, about 300 is better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So you need to get you an African twin. Yeah. Um, what about uh, uh, family? Does she need to be have a good family? Uh, I don't know. Probably foster children, so she don't know who her family is, so we don't have to deal with all that. Oh, I see. Yeah, I don't want to go to family dinners and stuff. That's boring. What if they're rich family? Yeah. Well, even kids that have foster parents and stuff, like, they have family. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the one, I want one that escaped from the foster care. Well, what, yeah, right what if the gal that came from prison? Yeah. I don't know. You know, she's been on Alcatraz, even after it's been closed all these years. Oh my. <laughs> what are you jumping for, honey? Because it scared me. Oh gosh. There was that girl you described, I think, in that car. <laughs> it's funny how God plants people in our lives immediately. Was you praying up there? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> well, you need to be. Why is she doing out here? There's nothing out here. I'm telling you. She probably lives out here. It's not a freak thing that that happens, Blake. He sent her. There's a car right there. You're just supposed to be brave enough to stop and say, hey. What's up? <laughs> say, hey there, what up? I'd like to take a ride in that Honda. And she's like, hey, just <laughs> drive off. <laughs> she, she drives a Honda and you got a Honda. That was a Honda or was it a Prius? That was a Honda. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, Camry. No, it was a Honda. Oh. 